the beauty, the beauty of testing yourself. Welcome on Austin Men's Development. Steve Maeda here. I'm the founder of this board, and this is also a Daily Awesome podcast, very similar to yesterday's Daily Awesome podcast, which has to do with the, the art of losing, the beauty of losing. But today we're talking about this other component to it, to testing yourself, right? And it's very relevant to the guys on the AMD board, which you can watch for free if you uh, just follow the free stuff link down below if you're watching this podcast on iTunes or listening to it on iTunes or Stitcher, but also watching it on YouTube. And if you're interested in learning about sex and relationships, there's the TSL podcast. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about the pressure cooker, the testing of oneself, the empowerment from that, and how we mix that up. First off, you got to test yourself. You have to. You have to as a man or you're nothing. But so much that we hear when we sift through the minutia of the shame and pain and the I'm not getting it and the selling to men's desperation, which you hear in the men's development industry so much, so much, oh, be a rock star because you feel like shit. Build empowerment where you're more powerful than women because you feel like shit. Let's be, have power over women and subjugate them and fuck them because you feel like shit as a man. That's the kind of pain that gets dangerous. You never get better if you're coming from that pain. And this type of selling that comes there is all this push your comfort zone crap. I I, I gotta push my comfort zone because I'm a weak man because I've never been there. First, let's start with being a functioning man. Let's, Let's start with being a man that walks in life because there's so much of my life that has been tested and challenged in hard ways and hot ways and kinds of ways that burn and scar you and that have done that in so many ways that I, I wasn't pushing my comfort zone. I was living life. I was living life. I was being my expression, right? And that's not because I'm a badass guy or some alpha motherfucker. It's because I was living life. It's because I followed my dreams or followed my passions or followed what I felt was something that drew me to something. Maybe I wanted to have kids. Maybe I wanted to leave a relationship. And all this shit happened and my comfort zone was fucking pushed and I was tested. But I want to talk about this a little bit deeper because I took this jujitsu tournament as I talked about in the podcast yesterday, uh, last week I was invited to, I was very honored to be a part of it. What's up people showing up? How you doing on the AMD board? But, uh, I, I was very honored to be a part of it and I won two and I lost two and they were, they were hard, hard wins and hard losses. And what I mean by that is that I lost hands down. I, I lost. And I like those losses because I can't argue them in my mind, but it made me go through this losing process that I talked about on yesterday's podcast. But the thing is, is that in that there was a weight cut, there was a lot of pressure, there were things where, which tested me on a different level that, that I wanted to see where I could go and I gave it. And the thing that I walked away from, probably the worst of that is I didn't feel that I gave all of myself and some of it, possibly. And those we walk away from tough, right? And then there's this other thing where on one of the calls right after that tournament, you know, uh, one of our one of our members, one of our TSL members, he said, man, men don't test themselves anymore. They're so goddamn afraid. They're so goddamn afraid to deal with the pain, to deal with the fear, to know what it's like to end up in some bad shoes. In fact, there's a guy on the AMD board that was asking about getting a fight, right? That was get, uh, uh, that was an odd situation. I won't show the details of it, but thanks for watching. And, and about getting in a fight and feeling that rage and going, fuck, man, you know, and I, I beat this guy and it made me feel terrible afterwards because I had an emotional connection with this guy. But you've got to allow yourself to be in those positions, not saying that fighting's good. See, that's what the weak man says. That's what the desperate salesman says, the man selling desperation to you. You feel weakness as a man, so you need to challenge yourself. You need to get tens because you feel like a fucking zero or a five and you think that's going to actually make you a six at everywhere else in life rather than being able to walk around your own goddamn shoes and stand on your own two feet and face life on life's terms. We get all these accoutrements of society, these prizes to put on as armor so we don't have to show ourselves. And man, when you have opportunities like that that challenge you or test you, so you beat the shit out of somebody and you fuck them up and you go through the pain of that and you go through the joy of that too because part of you wanted to do it. Part of your head got lost when you did that. But you block it and say it's just a bad thing. There's bad things to it. We're not saying that. But that's part of the expression. That's part of finding you. Okay? crazy, right? That's the beauty of it. That's how we test ourselves as men. And so then we got to this other thing where yesterday I did a shamanic journey, all right, which was very cool. And I had to leave early because of a family emergency. I'm going to continue on it on Sunday and I'll let you guys know about it. But I saw a guy, a client of mine, test himself and he tested himself further than where I had seen him go. 
and further than I went in the journey because I had to leave early. And I talked to him about it today and it was like, Jesus Christ, fuck yeah. And it wasn't fuck yeah, you're a man, because this is a client, now I'm gonna talk about him, no disrespect, but he started out in desperation. And he started out buying the lie of desperation that the men's develop, the self-help, the seduction industry sold to him. And for some reason, whatever reason, he hired me, thankfully, and I don't teach that shit, and I don't go that shit. And to, to kind of reprogram those things or to work with them and say, hey, that's not it, man. Don't buy the lie of desperation. You know, you think, you think that you're gonna be a rock star or that you get tens and that's gonna make you, no man, it's more than that, it's more than that. Think about your success with all the different things that you've had success with in life and business. So I said, hey man, it's kind of a new agey thing. There's a lot of new age stuff to it. I don't fully believe in it, but when in Rome, do as the Romans. And I'm gonna do it, all right? I want you to do it with me. I think it would be good for you. And I told a lot of friends, there's a lot of guys in TSL who are being a part of it, MD Excellence that are being a part of it. It's happening right now in Austin. If you wanna go on one of these journeys, it's cool. And I talked to him about what he went through. And man, I've been in some of those situations. You know, I'm not a fan of sweat lodges. I sit in the sauna for 20, maybe 30 minutes at a high temperature. But last time I did a sweat lodge, it was two and a half hours and it was fucking too insane. So they had a sweat lodge. That's one of the things that I didn't do, I was going to do. And he took it, he took it all. And he describes it, he felt the pain. He felt the, so much pain that he had to let go. He couldn't meditate out of it. That he had to go on the ground and lose himself. He didn't know what it was like to be put in that panic. He had to place himself in that area and he was one of the few guys who was able to stay. And the shaman had talked him through it and at one point he just had to get out. And you know, he had his experience. But it wasn't done there. After that, he went through the healing process. All right, and went through that and decompressed the pain normalized it, made it so that intimate moment with giving up, with fucking putting your life on the line and testing your will and testing who you are and listening to what other people say and bypassing your fears, bypassing your, man, it's not going to work. Oh my God, it's not going to work again because he's been there for one and continuing on and taking some faith with some people and getting a result that is almost only pain, but now it seems to change into something else because here's the beauty is it's not pushing your comfort zone and getting your fucking result like all the fucking desperation self-help bullshit that's sold to you, that's not what gets you happiness. That's not what gets you completion. That's not what makes you a man. Is the, you know, the like, oh my God, I, I, I pushed my comfort zone and I got the girl. You think that's what's gonna give you a relationship? You think that's what's gonna fucking make your, your dick fucking supreme? That's what's gonna make your heart full? That's what's gonna make your relationships work, your business work, your, the people in your life come to you? No. No, man, that's an event. That's an event. It makes you feel good and you shouldn't, I shouldn't knock it because it's good and it's great. But the fact of the matter is, is anybody who challenges himself loses a lot. All right. The thing is, is in that healing process, and we talked about this yesterday, in that point where you test yourself, your mind changes. You stop looking at the little boy desperation. You stop looking at the pussy ass, I need to get something. You stop looking at the, I need to accomplish something so I get validation and attention. You stop looking at the, I need the prize, which my insecurity says is gonna make me feel good, but it's covering up the real fucking me. And when you get there and you get to that point where you let go of that and start to look at like, oh my God, this is me. This is where my ambition got me. This is where my draw got me. This is where my insecurity mixed with my ambition got me, but I can handle it. Now what do I really wanna do? Now who am I? And see, when we're going around there trying to live life and we can't stand on our own two feet, we can't live with our heart out there, we can't live without our expression, who are we? We're a manifestation, we're an amalgamation of fucking bullshit. We're an amalgamation of what we're told we're supposed to be and there's a lot of people telling us that. There's a lot of bullshitters, there's a lot of people on YouTube like myself. And see, my thing is, is like, don't listen to me, fucking go out and live your goddamn life. You wanna listen to me, start listening to me and join our groups. Free Austin Men's Development Board, AMD Plus Board, 20 bucks will get you on that board. AMD Plus, serious shit. I do, I'm doing that for you guys, or the Men's Development Excellence can't, calls, oh man, geez, you get so much with that. It's amazing, it's amazing. But the thing is, is that that sort of dealing with where your ambition gets you, where your passion gets you, where your sex drive gets you, where your fucking I want to win gets you, where your I want to finally be myself gets you while you're being yourself is excellence. 
where it gets you when you're going like, I want to win, but at the expense of what can I suppress about me or maybe I can do something better, a technique or a hack and all the things that have failed about me aren't there and I don't care if you failed a fucking thousand times and you're hitting a wall with your fucking goddamn face being smashed in because that's what life does to you because life is not easy. But life is natural and life works. I'm, I'm around life right now. Jeez, man, you don't think there's challenges all around this, but nothing stops its pursuit of living. We stop our natural pursuit of living with our great reason, which makes us so powerful and smart. But it gets us in the way of our natural function of happiness and who we are and what makes us so beautiful. You are your own worst enemy, and there's no quick fix for this. There's no quick fix for excellence ever. There's no quick fix for you getting what you want and what you need and are going to f fulfill yourself. But the long road is, is stand here with me, walk with me, walk with us. Because there's way better coaches than me on this board that may help you out with your relationship or may help you out with losing weight or may help you out with your spar or accountability stuff. But stand here with us and start being yourself. Start being yourself. You're not. Well, I don't know about uh, not, a couple people I'm speaking to personally. But some of those guys, you know who you are. You're not. Don't fake it, man. We all see it, even in your shitty little posts or even in your inactivity. Start being okay with who you are. Follow your ambition. Follow that pursuit. Lose by it. Be willing to experience the pain because at the expense of your pain, your passion, your, your purpose is all sacrificed because you don't want to feel pain. You don't want to feel embarrassment. You don't want to be wrong. So you're willing to limit your expression on who you are just to get there, just to get the result. And the result ain't it. The results of that comfort zone, desperation, man bullshit that you're buying into that so many of us have eaten. Fuck, I've eaten. I'm in pain, I wanna get out. But the road to following that, your ambition, your dream, well being yourself. Man, there's gonna be pain, there's gonna be confusion, there's gonna be embarrassment. But the beauty is, it, is that's what builds the foundation of the stuff you raise your goddamn life on. You raise your towers of self, your business, your pride, your morality, your, your, your vision, your passion. Fuck, man, your kids, your family. That's what raises it. That's what makes it badass. And if you don't want to be that man, then you're a fucking bitch. And you deserve to get your ass kicked. And you don't know life. You're not testing yourself. You're getting a result. And the sad thing about only getting a result is you end up living with nothing. Everything that fulfills you in zero ways, that fulfills none of the things which initially drove you there. God, man, it's amazing. I could talk about this for a long time. All those like PUA hate people or the old school PUA people or the red pill people or the MGTOW people, Jesus Christ. I am so obsessed with controlling women and dominating them, but I don't want them. I don't need them. I'm more powerful. Really? Then why even care? Don't you realize that it's your sex drive, your longing for completion with women, for the unification of man and woman to come together that built this divide that you've made to protect yourself? Jesus Christ. No. Follow the sex. Follow the dream. Follow the ambition. Follow you. Don't be afraid of being you. But man, get to a spot. Where, where you can learn to be a fucking man. Anyway, if you're into this sort of stuff, Austin Men's Development, where this is broadcasting live on the AMD board, join it. You can join it if you're, if you're watching on YouTube or on the, free, uh, on the iTunes or Stitcher feeds. You can look at the free stuff link, download our PDFs. You can also join the Austin Men's Development board. But what's more important is you can also join AMD Plus for $20. $20 you can join that board, get excellence, stand with people that do that, my dogs are going crazy. And fucking man, bust ass with those sorts of things. All right. I think they're killing an animal. I got to talk to you guys later.